everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion, and this one is going straight to rank five. Now, can you guess who this will be? And I'm pretty sure some of you could guess. It's just one champion. And I'm actually pretty excited about this rank up. But if you can guess, leave a comment below and let me know who your guess is. But we are about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Onslaught. Now, I know some of you guessed Onslaught. Onslaught just came into the contest and I grinded for him in the arena. Now, back in the day, people would ask me, what champion do you most want to see in the game? And systematically, they added the champions that I wanted. And it was down to Onslaught and Cloak and Dagger. And I heard that they were bringing in Onslaught. And that's all I needed to know. So there was no chance, really, that I was not going to go for him. There was just no chance. Um, I got him as a five-star round one, warmed myself up, and then I got him as a six-star round two. And I decided... Looking at the meta, if you want to know a little bit about my thought process, looking at the meta in the upcoming Alliance War, he seems to be really good for this meta. Now, I noticed that a lot of people, you know, are putting him on defense, and that's fine. But I was looking at him offensively as well. And there's a couple of things that I noted. One is that he can block unblockable specials from skill champions. So that was one thing. Uh, the other was that he, while he's not immune, and this is good that he's not immune, but while he's not immune, he reduces the potency of incoming bleed, incinerate, and I believe shock by 150%. Okay, so he can still, uh, it sounds like he can still be affected by poison, but that triple immunity, not immunity, but that triple, um, I don't even know what to call that, reduction in potency is huge because it will allow me to still heal up when I get those on there. And since I run the recoil masteries, it makes him recoil friendly. So of course I had to do it, all right? And you see here, um, I have you know a rank two to three, and then here's my three to four, okay? And I decided to use it. I could have used you know, just resources or whatever, but I decided to just go ahead and use that because I still had hope that I would get an Aegon before the um, cutoff date of January 15. So I said, all right, let me um, save my resources so that if I do get him, I'll have enough resources, you know, the T6 basic and the T3 alpha uh, to take him all the way up. Now, I could also have saved that for him. But I had already gathered up quite a few. And you're going to see at the end here um, that if I wanted to take up Onslaught, I had to be careful. You see this right here? Uh, now, it's a, a glitch because that's not a um, tier 6 basic. I need one more tier six mutant catalyst. But thankfully, Kabam did something recently. I can now sell my tier five mutant catalyst. 
See why I didn't want to use up my mutant tier fives? And look at this. I can sell them. Look at that. And that gave me just enough to get that third T6 mutant catalyst so that I could finish taking up Onslaught. I don't recommend it all the time. You're not getting a whole lot, but considering how rare those are and how close I was, I had to do it, okay? So that was kind of my thought process behind that. Now, as of this recording, I have already gone into Alliance War with Onslaught. That is going to be interesting. Uh, but you'll have to wait for the first war before you can see Onslaught in action. But let me tell you, I like him. Uh, I have no, no regrets taking this guy up. He is a beast. Truly. And in Alliance, uh, not Alliance, um, in Battlegrounds, yeah. I can see a lot of people wanting to ban him. They're going to definitely want to ban him. And here, I just said, you know what? Why not? And I did that. Because I'm going to be using him uh, for Alliance War offense. And I'm like, yeah, this will make him even better. Then I did this. Now, before this happens, I want to tell you guys I made a mistake. Okay. Now, look at the signature stones that I have. Now, I went ahead and used these 12 because I was thinking that I would then use the balance of the other 200. But if you notice, it is a plus 200. It's just a plus 200. They're not 200 of them. And I said that, I said, oh, wow. Okay. Because I don't think I've ever had one of these, have I? I can't remember. But you see how I was waiting there? Because I was like, I don't believe I just did that. Because I could have used those uh, 12 on somebody else. But it is what it is. 12 wasted. But we'll get them back. No problem. All right, so we're looking here a little bit at him, but this is why I wanted to awaken him. You saw what his SIG ability did, and I wanted him at SIG 200. I think that was a good decision. And you will see in my first video of war. All right, but anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Um, let me know, those of you who have an onslaught, let me know how you like him. I went into Alliance War not really knowing that much about Onslaught. I've already told you guys the key points that um, drew me to him. You know, the potency reduction for the bleed, incinerate, shock, and um, the degen that he can put on him, the Dauntless, you know, all of that good stuff made me go, I got to play with him in Alliance War. And it went well. However, I probably did not play him, you know, well at all. So if you have any tips or tricks or anything like that, let me know. I will definitely be paying attention and, you know, playing around with him a little bit so that when I go into war, I can play a little bit more efficiently. But even my amateurish um, handling of him shows how good he is. All right. Anyway, uh, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.